Welcome to the section where we are going to be covering the scope of the occupational health and safety regulations within the workplace. But before we actually get into the regulations, we need to ask ourselves an important question. What is occupational health and safety? Well, occupational health and safety is generally defined as the science of the anticipation, recognition, evaluation and control of hazards arising in or from the workplace that could impair the health and being of workers, taking into account the possible impact on the surrounding communities and the general environment. Now, this definition is quite long-winded and seems quite complicated, but in actual fact it's not. Occupational health and safety revolves around hazards. Basically, occupational health and safety is anticipating what hazards might be in the workplace, recognizing those hazards that are currently in the workplace, evaluating the risks involved with these hazards, and putting some sort of mitigation or control measures in place so that workers are not affected by these hazards. So occupational health and safety basically boils down to these four words, the anticipation, recognition, evaluation, and control of hazards in the workplace. There is, however, one element that is missing from this definition, and that's review. To ensure that your occupational health and safety system within a workplace works, you need to continually review and make sure that there are no changes that have taken place and that the control measures that you put in place are adequate. So now we know what occupational health and safety is. So what are the benefits of having a really good occupational health and safety system within the workplace? Well, it's quite simple. The safer the workplace, the happier the workers are. Healthy workers are more likely to be better motivated, they enjoy a greater job satisfaction, and therefore in turn they contribute to a better quality of products and services. And at the end of the day, they enhance obviously the company that they're working for and this in turn has a large impact on the life of individuals and society.